In this problem, we've been asked to find a function that gives the area of this triangle here. And we are supposed to express this function in three different ways. So as a formula, as a table, and as a graph. Well, it's just a triangle. We know the area of a triangle is 1 half of base times height. And the base is x, while the height is x. So the area will be 1 half base times height. So we'll call our function capital A of x, and it equals 1 half of x squared. Now, that that's actually the first part. We've expressed it as a formula. But now we want to learn how to express it as a table and as a graph. And in our class, we're going to be using the Desmos graphing calculator to help us out. So we're going to go to desmos.com. So that's D-E-S-M-O-S dot -S com. And we launch the calculator. And we see that it's got a nice graph here. And it's off to the left blinking cursor, we're going to enter our function. And I'm going to type it in just as I had before. a of x equals, and then 1 divided by 2, so 1 half, and then I'll use my arrow key to move over, x squared, and voila. That actually gives us the graph of our function. Now, it's not a very pretty graph, or not, not, not a perfect graph. I like to go in and tweak the settings and change it to projector mode so that it displays more boldly. But All right. Now, this function will evaluate for us very nicely. So if I want to know a of 1, I can actually just type that in, a of 1. And it spits out the value. I could figure out a of 2. And in this fashion, we could come up with a table. But Desmos can do even better than that. Instead, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add a table. And we're going to pick several different x values. Maybe 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the y values, the output values, I'm going to let y equal a of x. And just like that, the column fills in, and we get the values for our table. So we're going to get very familiar with this Desmos graphing calculator, but it kind of merges very nicely these three different ways of presenting a function. We've got a formula, a table, and a graph. So a big part of this unit will be us figuring out how to get a formula or a graph from a table, or to be able to move from each of these presentation methods to another. So open this calculator, play with it. There are lots of great options there, but the only way to learn it is to dive in and try. So good luck.